everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got Grand Theft Auto V on that Acer Predator Helios 300 with that GTX 1060 video card. Up in the left-hand corner, you're going to see our MSI Afterburner with a GPU temperature, frames per second, CPU temperature and utilization, and of course, system RAM. Now, if we do take a look at the settings here, you're going to see that we're running in DirectX 11. We are running in full screen at 1080p. The refresh rate of the monitor is 60 hertz. We have FXAA on. We also have MSAA on uh, with NVIDIA TXAA. That's something extra that's not in the high preset. Population density and variety and distance scaling are all up to the top. Everything else is on high and your soft shadows are gonna be using NVIDIA PCSS. I turn off motion blur just because I don't like it personally, but as you can see, this is pretty much the high preset with a few things turned up. Long shadows are on, high resolution shadows are on, high detail streaming when flying is on, and your in extended distance scaling is also up as far as it can go. Frame scaling mode is off. So those are our settings here. Uh, so I'm going to let you guys take a look at this. Right now we're running about 70 frames per second. It jumps all the way up into the 90s, comes back down to the 60s, and this is what happens with, when you have V-Sync off. Uh, but my average frame rates on this uh, were definitely 60 to 65 frames per second for an average uh, so even if you see it dip down into the 50s at some point and even the high 40s, it jumps right back up to 60s and then it'll go to 70s. So if you have that V-Sync on, you'll end up doing a lot better with keeping uh, more of a standard frame rate. But i like you guys to see what it will go high and low. So that's what we'll do. So let's sneak in here and take out this gardener. This is just very early in the story mode. We'll sneak up on this poor guy and we will knock him out. See ya. And now I have to sneak into the house. You have probably played this already, so you probably already know exactly what's going to happen. Uh, I am going to not do commentary through the rest of this, and I'll let you guys see the gameplay. Uh, right now, again, thermals are holding at 71 on the uh, GPU, and they're a little bit on the high side. Not high, I would just say pushing uh, at 81 degrees Celsius on the uh, CPU with the 83% utilization. So uh, keep in mind that this game uh, definitely will access that hyper-threading uh, and it is good that you have an uh, i7 with hyper-threading on this uh, particular game because it will utilize all that. So I'll uh, be quiet now, let you guys check out the gameplay and then I'll check back at the end. Knife attack me? No one creeps on the J Dog, my niggas. <laughs> well, well, you suck Fat Man's dick. I don't care if you're 12. I'll still rape you. Just loosen up those hips. Okay, hips in? Yeah, loosen them up. There you go. And follow through. Perfect. Hey, Simeon, I got the ride, man. I'm coming back. 
Uh, if you actually bring the repossession to me this time, I can have it back out on the street before the day is done. That's a 9mm semi-automatic pushed against your skull. Uh, don't look around. You just keep driving where you're going. Hey, come on, man. This was a repo job. Kyle's behind on this fucking note. Unlikely. Consider my son just got the car. And looking at the way you're going about this, my guess, you're working a credit fraud. A credit fraud? Be serious, dude. I just work the fucking repo. I appreciate a kid who follows orders without taking responsibility. Yeah, maybe one day we'll have a beer, and I'll explain how the world really works. Who gives you the slip? A car dealer, dawg, by the name of Simeon Terry. So this businessman, he look legit to you? Look, man, it's just between him and your fucking son. Don't worry. Me and Mr. Yatarian, we'll work this out. Hey, man, it's Jess up here. Okay, stop the car. Pull up. Who is this? That the place? Yeah, this the place, man. Whoa. Drive into it. Right through the fucking window. And fast. Or I'll put two rounds in the back of your skull and do it myself. You can't be for real. I look like a fucking joke to you. Man, fuck my life, man. Fuck. Hey, I still got this gun to your head. Man, shit! No! Franklin! What the fuck are you doing? Mr. Sammy, that's not exactly how it looks. <laughs> I always trump big for a job well done. Now get out of here, kid. You motherfucker! I won't be treated like this! Okay, you recognize this car? Huh? Does it look like it's worth five grand a month to you? You fucking racist! I'm telling you something. This thing's gonna need some serious body work before it's worth five grand a month. Ah, <laughs> he agreed to financing I have his signature. Yeah, did he agree to have some punk break into my fucking house? I, I don't know. I, uh... That kid might be a fucking idiot, but you are a fraudulent scumbag piece of shit. Don't make me have to come back here. So there you have it. That's Grand Theft Auto V on the Acer Predator Helios 300 with that GTX 1060. Uh, did a good job of hanging in there. Uh, again, GPU temperature hung in at right around 70 degrees Celsius. Uh, CPU temperature jumped right around the 80 degrees Celsius mark, which is well within operating temperatures. Utilization still up there at 75, 76%. Um, so it's definitely taking advantage of that i7 hyper threading uh, and almost 10 gigabytes out of 16 gigabytes of system ram uh, so this game is definitely one of those games where more is better uh, you will definitely do better with an i7 you will definitely do better with more system ram if we take again a look at our settings uh, we've got that uh, full screen 1080p FXA is on, uh, MSAA I turned on so I could use NVIDIA TXAA. Uh, VSync is off just so that you guys could see frame rates up and down. Uh, population density variety is all up and everything is pretty much high except for NVIDIA PCSS for soft shadows. So if you want to see any other games on this particular laptop, please leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. Remember to like, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe because that always helps me out. And I'll check you guys out on the next video.